Hello, this is Mask of Mists. Uh, this is a new game that came out this year. It is a first person uh, puzzle game with like some light combat. Uh, let's check it out. I literally just bought this a couple minutes ago. The story begins with another job challenge. You were asked to find the missing person. The missing person. It's nothing unusual except for the fact that this person was an archmage of the academy. Hello. And, as you know, untraceable disappearances are extremely unusual for Archmages. Archmage Crowl conducted his research on infected territory, the area of fierce battles during the last war with the Empire. The amount of magic which fell on this land was so huge that it weakened the barrier that protected us from the Abyss, and many of its inhabitants filled this area. You were promised a triple-size fee. Triple size! In case of success, and the Archmage's colleagues kindly offered to teleport you directly to your destination. That's handy. You enter the portal after hesitating for a few moments, and off we go. It's slightly unpleasant teleporting sound, but we're here. Oh, we move we move relatively quickly. Backing up is a bit more like being in a truck, like beep, beep, beep. But anyway, all right, so let's look around. Can I do anything with these pots? Not yet. Not until I get a, a weapon of some kind. Oh, hello. I got a red statuette. It would probably be used for a puzzle. Obviously can't go through that yet, so let's look around some more. I can jump. There's a red statuette. Hmm. It's my it's in my nature to try and jump up on top of things. There you go. Now I just need to find one more over here. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what I do with these. Do I use these as a stepping stone? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, that's not that's not suitable. I'm gonna place these sort of in the main area. Red statuette fits firmly in my pocket. Alright, so I'll keep those there. And just like that, the portal's open. Go ahead and take one of these with me. I bet I'll need it. Oh, look at this, a little village. Looks a bit, uh, ransacked. down. Let's look around. I'll need a lever. So as you can see, some 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 very light uh, adventure game elements too. Now those are extremely shiny. I'll need some firewood for that. There's a cellar. I'll come back to that once I've explored the rest of this house. I guess it's uh, more than just a house. We've got a table here. It's like a barracks. Oh. Alright, so that has to be done in a specific order. And speaking of order... Uh, my order from the grocery store is being finalized right now. So once this video is over, I will be able to have some cookies after lunch. That's not the only thing I got, but it's what I always focus on. Here we go, a sword. I kind of 
of swings. The animation kind of reminds me of Dragon Quest Swords for the Wii. Oh, it is required. The Fort Terraski. Alright, here we go. We have a note, and this is sort of the order. Let me see if I can kind of uh, remember this. So we've got arrows. we got a backwards R. B, so Arby's. Arrow, go to the Arby's for fish and glasses. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Arby's for fish and glasses. Alright, and so that goes to an entirely other area. I will check that out in a little bit. I still gotta look around. I'm not done here. For example, can I destroy these? You bet I can. And I can destroy these crates. And I get a stone mask. Is that the mask from the loading screen? It's possible. And there's a chest in here. I get a ruby and a health potion. So as I mentioned, there is combat in the game. Uh, although the fo general focus of the game is on, you know, puzzles. Let's check out that cellar. Oh, the hinges rusted a long time ago. So I may need to open it from the other side. Okay, this is not a dungeon as I thought it might be, but it's a portal to a wizard's sort of uh, hidey hole. There's, there's, there's a, a name for that spell in D&D, in &D, but I forget it. Okay, recipe, anti-rust potion. I will need a blue flower and witch mushroom. And that will probably help me with the hinges on the cellar door. And here is the alchemist table. So I'll need to go get those ingredients elsewhere and come back with them. We have this painting. Picture looks unfinished. Yeah, so, so I'll definitely some point-and-click adventure kind of puzzles where it's like, you need an inventory item to solve some of these. I must have dropped it again when I was working on my last picture. I never thought that such a harmless hobby could cause so much inconvenience. So if I can finish this picture, then I will get the... I will get the key to the upstairs. That also confirms that yeah, we, we are in a... Uh, oh! Yeah, there is the key, it looks like. Um, yeah, it confirms that we're in a fort. Here's another of these uh, cubes. Maybe I can throw it at the key. There we go. Oh, I have a dash. I'll, maybe, I'll be making liberal use of that. I, I quite enjoy dashing and sprinting in games. Seems to do it automatically if I hold it down, but every couple seconds. Ah, okay, so that key does not go to that door. I will see where else it goes to. Probably also shatter, can I shatter these? Nope, okay. Mouse sensitivity is a little light, having to having to really wham the mouse around. Hmm. The storage key may be used somewhere else. So I'm not seeing any other door, so let's go ahead and leave this place and look around. Interesting loading transition there with the grayscale to color. Oh, I can see an enemy back there, I think. Yeah, it's a sli slimy. Alright, so let's take a look and see what else is in this little town. We have another lever. This one looks like it works. And so that door opens. Slam that with my sword. Some forest berries. Alright, um, 
here we go. Here's another house. Let's take a look inside. A couple more rubies. I wonder what we'll be used with these for. A pan and a lever. Okay. So now we have two different ways to go. Wait, oh. Oh, thought that was something. I was wrong. Now, there's something up there, but I can't get to it yet. Alright, so let's go fight that enemy. There we go. Now it op and now it opens. Oh, it just sinks. It sinks beneath the, the ground. It, it makes its own grave. Cannot destroy that stump. Oh, hey! Hey, bud. How's it going? Better not to touch it. Well, if the game says so. Get some brushwood. Just, just for touching that rock, I've increased my lifespan. So I guess I'm, I, was, I meant to make liberal use of the uh, dash button. Apparently, I, I need something stronger than this sword because it goes right through it but that'll let me get past this uh this uh dried out riverbed where the bridge fell there's a wood mushroom oh look at that i would like to inspect this tree i don't find anyone all right well there's no one in there there's no one in that tree. Uh oh. Hold on, let me. Yeah, take a healing potion there. I hear a jingling. We're going into some sort of, uh,. Dungeon. That's a very Zelda like puzzle there. Well, puzzle in quotes, it was pretty simple. Yeah, I could be clicking faster. Oh, another one. Another torch. Another torch. Probably need to light all of them. There's one up there. which is good because I could definitely use one. Okay, that opened up the door. Got a bit of a hazard, but it's not that big a deal. My game was saved. Okay, so this has some symbols. Probably gonna require a specific configuration, so I may need to go through that other door and see if I can find uh, 
a clue about this puzzle. Well, I found... I found a... a friend. I am finding all sorts of rubies. But I'm not finding a clue. I mean, there may be a contextual clue in that room that I just didn't notice. Wait, hold on. Nope, nothing. There were four things, and so my brain went, four, four, must be mean something. Um, let's see. What can I glean from this room? Let's turn all these off first. And then I'll figure out what, what order I need to do these in. These two statues don't really tell me anything. We've got a sun and moon. go back and see if there was anything no I would think that the, the the clue would be relatively close okay so that brings up my inventory Jay brings up my journal. Is there anything up there? No. I want to pay attention to my surroundings. Kind of look up, down, all around. Um, and my groceries are here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have cookies now. I have other things too, but cookies. I, I, it just seems like there should be a clue in here. Is it the torch placement? No. And all the torches are on. Candles don't seem to have any significance. Candles here, here. Hmm. Okay. These may be pointing out in order, because there's one, there's four here. So. One, two, three, four. Nope, that was not it. I cannot believe they trolled me with that. Ah, that's why they had a secret one behind there, so it didn't mean anything. But it looked like it was a one, two, three, four kind of deal. I don't know. I've lit up both of those. If I lit up both the moons, will that do anything? I mean, I can brute force it. I would just prefer not to. There are only so many combinations that you can do. Well, that did it. That was a sun and a sun. Which I thought I had already done before, but 
Whatever, on we go. More rubies. Is there someone I'm going to be selling these to at some point? Alright, so here's a new area, which looks a little like the old area, but it's different. Completely different. Alright, so I'm gonna have to figure this one out. There are three things, so I guess that means three things need to be lit up. Um, but there's a door here, so let's go through here and see. knack all right so now we have a clue that 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 uh, two are lit up and two are not lit up and then so you have sort of a triangle or a Y shape being formed so it's the two closest to the doorway that I just went through uh, to get into this area is there anything else here I can shatter these pots maybe no those are magical invulnerable pots Alright, so I'm gonna be lighting this one. This one. I really thought I had something with that number of candle thing. Okay. So I have activated a navigation crystal. And I guess that's one of the main things I have to do in the game. I've activated a navigation crystal. So I finished that dungeon. Got a health potion back, which is good. This game had the Metroidvania tag on Steam, but I was a little dubious about that because I think just progressing with inventory items doesn't mean that something is a, a Metroidvania, or else, like, m m Day of the Tentacle is a, is a Metroidvania. Like, we have to... There has to be some uh, better standard. I, I like ability gating as the primary standard for a Metroidvania that separates it from an open world. Here's a note. This is that its last owner disappeared exactly through this gap after the end of the battle. As a cursory inspection showed, it is necessary to activate six navigation crystals to open it safely. Okay. So, that is what I, I activated one of them. You can see that light is going on there. So that is, I think, the overall goal of the game. I'll grab that blue flower. Looks like I'll need a item to put in there. Alright, let's continue onward. There's another case of, uh, of an area not being accessible to us because the tree is, is uh, well, hold on, let me take a look. Can I go up this way? Nope. And I can grab the brushwood. Yeah, I cannot get over there yet. It's very similar to the other area. I'll need an axe for sure. Maybe it's up there. I'm gonna break those crates down just cause. Alright, so back we go into the fort. I'm gonna put the pan there. I can start a fire. I don't have I don't know if there's anything I intend on cooking yet. I also don't know if I have all the ingredients yet for the rust potion, but let me take a look. Yeah, no, I do not have, uh, 
I do not have everything I need yet. And that's fine, I'll keep looking. So, no need to use the, the cooking area yet. There is one thing I have not done, which is touch the thing I shouldn't touch. The key told me I shouldn't touch it, though. I'm sure something great is going to happen when I do this. Okay, so that did hurt. But nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, this way to... Rare image. Can I dash through the air? No, I cannot. Oh, hello. Another stone mask. Gotten a couple of them now. Yeah, okay, so I can't I can't do like a dash jump. The dash takes up all of my movements. I think I explored all of the dungeon. I don't think there was any room I didn't go in. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure something out, because uh, I am without direction at the moment. This tree is not cuttable with the sword. Trying to keep an eye out for any, like, tiny little paths. Were there any areas... El any other areas that I could go? I could get another blue flower. There is this. Okay. But it just leads to more foraging. Doesn't lead to a new area, unfortunately. Cannot grab these mushrooms, apparently. Let me make sure I haven't missed anything. If I go in here, I think I got everything from in here. Yeah, this is a small house. I don't think there's anything in the well. I don't think I could even jump down the well, actually. I don't think I could jump down the well, actually. Nope, cannot jump up there. Tried. Well, I feel a little lost. You go in there. There must be some other path here that I missed. Like, does this lead anywhere? No, it does not. I do not have anything that I can use there. Oh, there's definitely stuff over there I want to see. I want to see what that stuff is. Can't climb up there. 
Probably not important that I do that anyway. I'm trying to keep an eye out for any kind of secret paths. Let me just start that fire. Maybe there's something I can do with the fire once I've got it going. Nope. But it's there. Can't go in here yet. Still need that key. I didn't find any kind of, like, paintbrush or anything for that painting. <laughs> I mean, all I have is a thing that says, this picture looks unfinished. Which, yeah. Uh, like, I could maybe look for the area that's in the painting, but it's... I have not seen that area. We've got a lot of masks, but no indication that there's a place for me to put a mask. And there's no option to do it. If I were to go into my journal, the potion is I need a blue wit flower and a witch mushroom. And I don't have a witch mushroom. It's a blue looking mushroom. Like, I feel like I have to get that. I, I think in order to progress, I need to find a, a, a witch mushroom. sword does not help me there. I see these. These are bluish. Won't let me collect them, though. I'm gonna figure it out. I try to avoid using guides or walkthroughs. I recently played through Moon, a remix RPG adventure, um, and I, you know, I did not uh, resort to a walkthrough until I had gotten like halfway through the game. I, I, I did not know that the shopkeeper in that game sold stuff at night, uh, and then I needed the guide for the rocket ship parts just to know um, that I needed to fish in a certain area. I mean, we've got these... These are big blue mushrooms, but they don't... Ain't nothing growing on them. Maybe I need to go back into the dungeon? That seems like it would not be the case, but... Um, maybe there's something I missed in the dungeon. Again, blue mushrooms grow, gl growing and glowing, but... Have not seen any that I can pick up. or any, like, secret walls. Let me give him a, a whap with your sword. No secret room there. Here was this room, where there was really kind of nothing. Just a lot of rubies.
here was uh, the sun the sun room I, I still don't know what I needed to glean from this room to understand that uh, one specific way was correct there's nothing on the walls and that's just a, a swirl This just led to this. Um, and obviously this led to the navigation crystal, and that's all that was there. Oops! Be careful. Let's take a look in this area. I did rush through this area a little bit. Hmm. Another stone mask. So I did get something new. And there are secret walls. If I can find, you know, that specific kind of button. But... I don't see... A mushroom that I can pick up, unfortunately. So I got some. I got another stone mask, but that does not help me progress in the game right now. here and you go around in this area a lot of blue flowers red mushrooms still no one there huh if I do it from behind no well hello this is a path I did not notice before. I'm gonna go this way. And wouldn't you know it, there's the witch mushroom. That's why you gotta be observant of your surroundings. Because uh, I did not uh, see this path. It's, it's obvious when you come back this way but the reason I didn't see it is because I went this way, opened the chest, and then jumped off the cliff. You can only see this path if you're heading back this way. If you're going this way, you don't see it at all. You just kind of see uh, this path that leads to that dungeon. That's a very mist-inspired uh, design elements. Um, the idea that, like turning around and looking you might find a new exit like that was totally a thing in the in the miss games <clears throat> all right so now i can make oh, i have to hold it down and a rust potion and with this i can open up that cellar hatch Use that solvent, and now let's see what's down here. Well, first of all, there's a chest. And I just got hit by something. I'm gonna use my health potion. Okay. It's dimly lit. I got a rabbit trap, so I can catch the rabbit. About the creatures of the abyss. The creatures of the abyss can barely take on a variety of forms. So some of them are tangle of tentacles, growing out of the ground several times higher than human growth. These creatures are deadly dangerous, but what is surprisingly, they absolutely do not tolerate meat. Subjected to meat heat treatment, this is a real poison for them. Uh-oh. 
we're gonna we're gonna be mean to a rabbit, I think. Um, yeah, there's some there's some broken English in the game. It doesn't really impede my 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 enjoyment at all because it's not. This is not a game where um, writing is particularly uh, important. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the rabbit hole. Okay, so I think I need to leave and come back. I did not go far enough away. There's that sound. You know how traps have a magical glitter wind chime sound? Oh, now I have raw meat. It just killed it. It didn't just hide it in the box. It didn't just trap it in the box. There were a bunch of knives in there. So, we're gonna cook this rabbit meat. I personally am pescatarian. We'll fry that meat. I enjoy, I, I like chicken, I like fish and chips. I just can't, I just avoid red meat. I feel like it's just not, it's not good for me. It has nothing to do with any ethical standpoint. It's self-preservation. Here is the fried meat. <gasps> it doesn't make any sense. It's ma it's kind of King's Quest logic, but sure. The note told us what to do, so it's not a case of like, this is a random solution that I would never have thought, figured out. They did spell it out for you, but it is still very silly. Very Muppet looking creature. Okay, so we have another statuette uh, situation. So let's go look for the statuettes. There's one. Another alchemist table. This looks like another potion. Maybe? Nope. Even being buried in the ground, the statuettes burn the grass growing above them, making it turn black. Okay, so I, I'll need to be on the lookout for blackened uh, grass. Oh, I will need a shovel. So I cannot do this this puzzle yet. There's a couple ways to go away from here. An axe, excellent. Better to look for another way. It looks like I can go down into that well. Uh, then there's this path here. And I can maximize my health some more. Okay, so I do not have the ability to... Uh, get through that uh, green statuette area because I need the shovel to, to dig up green statuettes, but I have the axe, so I can now cut down this tree. Down it goes. We've got a fire, we got fire flowers here, it looks like. So I'll need, uh, I'll need to deal with that later. Some sort of frost potion. The favorite habitat of leprechauns is the trunks of old trees. These creatures are usually harmless to humans. Moreover, they are ready to sell the items they found for rubies. Okay. So, we there is a seller. A vendor. A vendor from Endor. Ah, 
stuff. Alright, so let's take a look and see what's in this trunk. What is this? A cave mushroom. That's a big mushroom. There's a shovel. Is that the le Okay, yeah, that was the, all that was in this room. Is this where I came out? Uh, yes. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. This path had that stuff. I'll go ahead and shatter that box just in case. Okay, I so I guess that was it. There's really just kind of two rooms. A lot of rubies and a shovel. And they mentioned leprechauns. I have not seen... Uh, a trunk of a tree that had uh, uh, a little door or anything like that. But anyway. I now have the shovel so I can uh, dig up the statuettes. So let's go this way first. Okay, a statuette. So now I have two of them. If I were to go this way. Nope, that's where I've been. How about this way? Oh, they both go to the same place. Hmm. I'll need dynamite, I guess. And there's a chest back there. They're very good at showing you stuff you can't access. Alright, so I'll go ahead and start putting these in. I get one, and two, and that's it. That's where the next dungeon is, it looks like. Looking for any other blackened grass. I guess I'm gonna need to blow up this wall to get other statuettes. But let's see, this is a path I haven't gone to, and here's the area from the painting! And uh, we've got a bunch of uh, symbols here. I'm gonna have to figure this out. I may need to go back to the uh, alchemist place and look up the symbols and then come back here. Which is perfectly fine. Although that place looked- the painting seemed like it was pretty far away from the action. But I may as well check. I like to do things in fives here. Alright, so... Yeah, that doesn't really tell me much, does it? And then here... The key, yeah, it doesn't even mention. So, alright, I'm gonna have to figure it out using what's available to me in that area, possibly. 
Now it seems like there are four sides that I can choose from. But five is five of them, five of the cubes. So here's another blackened grass. If I can see any other blackened grass, you at home, shout it out if you see any, like in Blue's Clues. Except that I won't be able to hear you. This was where I got that extended health, so they probably would not put uh, a statuette there. Yeah, this is nothing. Can't shatter those pots. I got my number. Yeah, I'm. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, so I could find enough. I did find enough. Alright, so I don't have what I need to solve this yet. I think I'm gonna need some context soon. Maybe I get it in the dungeon. So, let's go in the dungeon first. I don't have any healing potions, so gonna be hairy. But in we go. Hmm. There's a gate I can't get through. Pots that I cannot shatter. There we go. It's a lever. I have to be on the lookout for levers in this dungeon. We have a poison mist. Okay. I hold my breath when I run through it, apparently. Go ahead and open that up. So now I've unlocked that shortcut. me in the butt on my way back. Naughty. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Just looking for secrets. Always looking for secrets. Okay, I got a valve. Have to look for a pipe of some kind. Nope. It's right here. Lower the acid. Now we're good to go. I, I just, I don't know, I just feel like, is there a secret wall? It's a big open area. No, there's not. The game seems to want to signpost some of its secrets to you. Like, it showed you uh, where the stone mask was and then you'd had to had to find how to get there let's go through this door first i'd like to go left first oh shoot i cannot take more than one hit from this okay good all right now i can now i can relax a little bit a healing potion Ooh, you tried Ah, got through that without giving up any health. There's another door here. Probably has a valve in it. Let's go see. Yeah, there's no experience in this game. But also, I think all the enemies, you know, once they die, they're they're dead. This will be a very empty world by the end of the game. Oh, whoops. Oh, shoot. Heal.
Oh, there's a little secret down there. That's the valve that I need. Okay. All right. I'm gonna need another valve to finish this off. Looks like I got a little bit of platforming here. Secret wall, another stone mask. I've yet to find this mask of mists. And I found a lot of masks of stone. They're having some fun out there. Whoa! That's a big boy! Oh shoot, he's got a little shield. Alright. You're done. Cartridge? A cartridge for what? Pistol shooting? There's a pistol, huh? Have not seen a pistol, but I've got ammo for it. I suppose it will be at the end of this dungeon, maybe? I already pulled that lever, so now I can finish off this, uh... This acid vat. Oh. That guy had a, had a bad time in the pool. How many rubies do I have? 19 rubies. Hmm. Nothing there. Just the window out. Alright, some more monsters. go. It's rusted and defies. So I need to make another potion. Another anti-rust potion. Oh, but there is an exit here. Taking me back out into the overworld. It's very Zelda. Very, very linked to the past. And there's another witch mushroom. So making another uh, potion should not be difficult. And I know where I am. I already know where I am. There's going to be a tree to cut down. It's going to take me back to the town. Okay. Yeah, there is the tree. Go ahead and cut it down. So now I can get back to the dungeon when I want to. There's also a mist here. I will avoid going that way until I find a, perhaps a mask of mists. Quintus Garrido. Huh. Talia Carmona. Lucius Ortega looks a lot like the other guy. In fact, he is the other guy. Apparently these guys, these people have uh, multiple names. Cornelia Rubio. Alright, so I may need a context clue. Here's another one of these. I'll go ahead and put these up, even though I don't know where they go yet. one over there. Yeah. So this door will open when I have them in the right positions. I don't know where that is yet. I always like when a game lets me get up places. I 
like Mark Echo. I've actually never played Mark Echo. I just know you can get up in that game. Alright, so let me head back now to the... Oh, some brushwood. I can head back now to the town. Craft an any rust potion, then go back into the dungeon. And progress further. Probably should heal. I'll go ahead and do it. All right. It would be nice to get a healing potion recipe. I th there's got to be a healing potion recipe eventually. Cause like I'm collecting stuff like berries. I've got uh, forest berries. I've got these wood mushrooms. These blue flowers. They got to be used for something. Surely one of those somethings is a health potion. Grab another one of the wood mushrooms. I did not go this way, did I? Looks like there's a spot to dig in front of a mask by a diagonal pillar. Okay, so I didn't even need to worry about that that poison mist, but there's an acid vat that I have to deal with. There are fire flowers. And there's this way, which has a tree. Found a couple rubies! Those are probably le the leprechauns. They're mine now, I guess. Exploding potion. I will need a tree mushroom and a cave mushroom. I do have both. So if I wanted to blow up that one wall, I can do that now. Go ahead and take that. Okay. Go back here for a second because I saw there's one area here I have not gone in. I hear a sound. It's like a sound of fire or something, maybe from the fire flowers in the distance. Lot to forage, more forest berries, a cave, a cave that I've not been to, I think. I'll play for another half hour, I think. All right, let's go in this house. A bedroom key. I've used it. This paper decayed a long time ago and you can make out only a small passage. When the light shines on two birds looking at each other, dot dot dot, I can make an explosive potion, I think. No, it says I don't have the ingredients? I have the ingredients. Alright, so I got the explosive potion so I can blow up that one wall if I want to. Here. Right, so light is shining on them. Let's take a look here. Start a fire. And there we go. I got a steel sword. So now I've got a sword that has a higher uh, crit chance, or a higher crit damage. So I got some, I got some good stuff out of here. I think 
that's everything, though. So back out we go. It's a nice little surprise to find that, uh, that area. Got some cabbages that I cannot pick up. This way. Now, I should start getting back to the dungeon, but I also have the clue I need for this area, so. Jay. Uh oh. Jay key's not working. There we go. Okay, so the so Rubio is Eagle. I'm just gonna chuck it. There's the eagle. Um, Carmona is unicorn. Oh wait. That's not an eagle, what am I doing? That's eagle. That's unicorn. The rest can be just Easily brute force, I don't have to bother with looking that up. There we go, it opens. It's another monster. Oh boy. Well, I do have a new sword. big deal. You, you are bigger than you are scary. Sapphire and some cartridges. Another witch mushroom, so that's good. I may need to make another anti-rust potion. I'll hold on to it though for now. Breath potion. Wood mushroom and wild flower. So I've got a breath potion now. I could probably make a couple, but uh hmm. That's a simple puzzle. Ordinary rain is almost the only way to temporarily extinguish fire flowers, and the famous magic beans, which can grow up to 10 meters in the blink of an eye, also show their unusual properties, but only under a heavy downpour. Okay, so we've got a color puzzle. Okay, so I can put... I have three gem types. This is a little confusing to me. So there's green, there's a bluish purple, there's uh, like an aqua green, like a, like a cyan green. Closer, closer to cyan uh, than green, I guess. And then a red. So is it a matter of like, yeah, I don't know. This puzzle's a little obtuse to me. Um, just because like, I don't know if this is a matter of like how they face each other. The red faces the green. So you would think you would put yellow in here. But I don't have a I don't have a yellow. I do have blue. And blue can go there. Oh, but I don't have enough blue. Um I 
do have red. I'm gonna assume that that's what they want me to do. But I don't have a there's no yellow. So what do they want me to do for the red? Like if I assume like the cyan, I put the, a blue and a green there. And the purple, I put a blue and a red. But there's no yellow. There's a green and a red. That's very confusing to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to take these back for now. I don't know what this puzzle means yet. Well, I think, I don't know. Maybe I feel like I'm misreading it. I'll come back. This probably requires a key. I don't need the graveyard key. It is required. It's a spectral spectral tentacles I have no time for you oh whoops get out of there I do have a breath potion oh it increases the time I can stay in infected areas okay I can make multiple of them. So if I really want to go through that area, I can. If I craft enough. Remember when I was in the second dungeon and then I left it? I'll get back to it. Listen. Now I got some serious resistance. I might be able to dash through that area. Alright. Through it. I kicked me. It's that twinkling sound again. Big trouble now. Fuck. I survived. Somehow. I keep hitting. I keep dashing the wrong direction. There you go. It's because I'm backpedaling. The Mask of Mist occupies special place among other artifacts created by the Empire. It gives its owner a huge force, allowing direct access to the magical energy of the Abyss, but it also carries a monstrous danger, draining the barrier that protects our world. Well, let me save. Okay. I've got another stone mask. Let me dig up here. Potion, which I'll take immediately. Oh yeah, there it is. That that was the spot indicated in the uh, map. Okay. Where else can I go? This big door probably opens from the other side. I'm 
automatically take an increase to my max health. Oh. I have another puzzle room. We have eyes all over. Do I need to block them or? Okay, so that opens up the other way. So yeah, I do need to block them. I'll have to find as many uh, of those blocks as I can find. Wherever they may be, do I need to bring them all from all over the place? It's possible. Well, I don't have any more on me at the moment. I don't see any more in this area. So I think all right, so I'll need uh, two more, it looks like. Are there any in here? Probably not. Nope. Yeah, so I'll just have to bring two from somewhere else. if there's a shortcut to get through the mist. It doesn't seem like it, so all right. Back we go. I don't know what that... I, I'm breathing still. Am I breathing through a Darth Vader mask? I think it's finally time to go back to the dungeon. I've done a lot. I've done a heck of a lot, but I need to finish the second dungeon for sure. Alright, we'll remove the rest. And this takes us to the second navigation crystal. Right, and now it's activated. I don't need to go back to the beginning though. I can see myself out the way I came in. Especially because I would like to be able to see if I can find any more of those blocks to take with me over the poison uh, field. I'll have to remember if I saw any in a specific area. This is where I need to go with them. I don't know if I can jump with with a block in my possession. But um I know that I left a block here. Okay, I can still run and jump. It seems weird that this would be the solution. Like you would think that there would be blocks elsewhere. You would think there'd be more blocks in that area. So maybe I'm maybe I'm going the scenic route on this puzzle, but I didn't see any other blocks, so. Wait, where There we go, I'm going this way. Once again, the mist thing. You have to be looking a certain way to notice certain paths. Alright. leaves one more. And there really aren't any other blocks over here, huh? Well, 
This game reminds me a little bit of Hero of the Kingdom, which is a series, which is like a casual, um, hidden, I don't know what I would call it. It's like a management game of sorts. You're a hero that you go questing. It's an isometric game, but like, it's kind of like got elements of hidden object and, um, resource management in it. Um, where, like, everything in the game is meticulously planned out so that, like, um, you, you don't need to grind. At least for the first two games. You don't need to grind. You, you know, everything is where it needs to be. You just need to, you know, go through things in a certain order to get all the things you need to sell or to craft to progress through the game. This gives me that same vibe. Um... I was just kind of rambling, and that caused me to lose focus on what I was doing. I need to go back and get that other block, which is probably back towards the entrance of the game. There it is. Yeah, I'm realizing that the only other blocks that I've seen were inside that house, and I can't take them out with me, most likely. because I dropped this. Hold on. Wait, wait, no, go in. Go in. There we go. Yeah, I guess what this, I guess as long as these are all blocked, it'll open. Okay, so a new area. I got eight minutes left. We can explore this area. There's another cave. With an acid mist. I got a cave mushroom. Got a drawing here. We got another drawing here. It doesn't doesn't tell me much. We got you got rain. We got clouds. Okay, so this is so if I wanted to, to mine for a sapphire, I guess I need a pickaxe, but okay, so here is the note that I need for that one location from the painting. Alright, so that's one area down. Ugh, I thought I was bobbing and weaving enough. And here is a ruby vein. So if I want to get a bunch of rubies and sapphires later on in the game, if I get a pickaxe or something, I'll be able to do that. But I think that's it from this area. Okay. But that's good. I got the note that I needed. And I can cause a rainstorm. It would seem. Alright, so I will go ahead and uh, head on back. With that cave mushroom, I can now make another exploding potion if I need one. What a mean trick! Well... I'm gonna make sure all these monsters are dead. Oh, nothing over there. Fine. Be that way. Okay. So I'll now go this way. 
think this is the right way. Uh, yeah, no, it's not the right way. I need to go back to the town. And take the other exit. I went the wrong way again. I need to go to where the uh, where the raw meat, where the fried meat scared that plant away. Which still sounds extremely strange to say. I can also use the exploding potion while I'm here. Use it right here. I'll get out of the way. some rope and I know exactly where to use that on the well right here okay I'll, I'll go in there in a bit let me first get this set up okay so If the wavy lines equals circle, and the triangle is square. Oh, um, I is triangle. Sorry, there is a square one too. There, there is the triangle. Oh, you know what? There are only four. For some reason, I thought there were five. Um, then the diamond is the mushroom. Okay. So this will cause a rainstorm, I think. And I'll check out the effects of that in a second. But first, let's go down into the well. We have another cave. Oh, but this is a dungeon. This is a entire dungeon. Alright, so we've got a crystal. I'm gonna shatter these crystals. Alright. These dungeons, I will say, are pretty simple. I like the resource management, um, like the crafting of potions I think is, is fun, um, and, and how to use them. Um, the expanding health and stuff is fun. Uh, the dungeons are not as good as the puzzles in the main world. I like getting an object and being like, I know what to do with this, I'm gonna go back and use it there. Whereas uh, the, the puzzles in these dungeons are a bit too simple, I think. I'd say this game is meant for a younger audience, but um, you take a lot of damage from enemies. Although I haven't died, but like I don't know what the punishment for death is yet. Maybe the punishment is nothing. Maybe the punishment is pretty simple. Uh -oh. them. Alright. So I can shatter crystals in, in this dungeon, but not in the in the main uh, overworld. So I shattered that. We've got some blocks. They want me to do anything with them. Okay. We want to do that. All these, though, 
Oh, well. Okay. No indication of which was meant to be used. I guess these ones back here are like, don't. I don't know. Maybe there was a map that would have told me. Well, regardless, I have... See, is this opened up? No, it's not open yet. Is there anything back here? There is. Oh no, this is where I came in. That's fine, but I was looking to see, like, what... Is there anything on the other side? Near the end. Here we are. There is, and that's the navigation crystal. So I need to I need to do that first. I need to do these other areas first. Okay. Well, I am screwed if I get hit by that, so I'm just gonna have to excel. Yeah. Yeah. Onto, onto room five? Oh no. Ooh, okay. Whew. Okay, so we've got four blocks. We got a table. Take these blocks off first. Obviously, they want me to take these blocks somewhere. Aha! That's what they wanted me to do. Hoops! go. Okay. Well, that was our first look at Mask of Mists. Uh, considering I've done three of the activation crystals, I'd say I'm halfway through. I don't see why I couldn't do another episode. Um, do a second part. So, uh, yeah. Come back later. Um... I don't know when I'm posting this. I've been, I did find the commentary tracks to Deadly Space Action, so... Um, I put up... For, for reference for when this was recorded, I put up the first uh, commentary track today. Um, and I'll be putting new ones up each week, so... Um, yeah, I figure I could put uh, part one of this up, you know, one day, and then part two up the next day, something like that. Uh, come back next time and I will finish up the Mask of Mists. I'm very, I'm enjoying this game. It's, it's definitely like an 8 out of 10 game because I'm docking two points for the dungeon puzzles. Um, and the fact that it's, it's, you know, it's, it's somewhat narrow in its ambition. But I still think it's a very enjoyable game and uh, I'm definitely going to play more of it in a second. So I'll see you next time.